Hey guys, welcome back to Omari. So we are back to the dream world. What is this? Sweetheart? Sweetheart's quest for hearts? Is that a literal quest? Looks a bit like a sailor moon silhouette. Anyway, um... So we're still on the hunt for Basil. Now we're going to a different area, west of the stump or something? Oh boy, oh boy. I've been waiting so long for this event. Is it Sweetheart's event? It is a delightful day indeed. I thought we we're going to the west though. Oh, you guys going west too? Oh yes, oh yes. At last, our glorious Princess Sweetheart will finally make her appearance. Oh my, oh my. I can hardly contain my excitement. The show is sure to be the most electrifying of them all. Oh dear, oh dear. We must hurry. Our four front row show tickets are right here. <laughs> are we robbing them again? Uh, we just happen to have four people as well. We are in for the time of our lives and must not be late. And maybe, you know, drop four tickets. Now, which way do we go again? I imagine west, probably. Uh, why did they just walk into us? Lost Sprout Mo- I feel so bad for hitting them though, because they clearly walk into us on accident. This is very awkward, but I guess we gotta kill you and steal your four tickets. Which is, uh... You know, terrible, but like, apparently that's the way the cookie crumbles. Sad. It's about to feel even more sad. I don't know why we had to beat their asses. We literally just killed them and robbed them. Oh, that's terrible. Hey, cool, these sprout moles dropped some tickets. Y you understand that we killed them and they dropped loot, right? Let me see. Wow. I know this is fantasy land, but it's a bit much. Oh, they're front row tickets for some kind of show. Featuring... Sweetheart? Wasn't that Captain Space Boy's ex-girlfriend? Yeah, it looks like some sort of contest or something. If we happen to pass by, we should stop and watch. I have a feeling that we are exactly going there. We do have front row show tickets after all. Well, alright. Maybe we can drop by if we happen to come across it. We will, hero. Don't doubt me. Why do you think we have to kill those four sprout moles? It's exactly for that reason. Oh, wait, can I hit that actually? Uh, I forgot how to... Switch people. Whack. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. Didn't we come here before when we were following Shadow Basil or something? You ready to do this, Omri? Oh, my fear of spiders, you mean? We'll be right here if you need us. Right, hero? Huh? Yeah, of course. Weirdly, I did dream about spiders recently. Hmm. It was an old man. Also, I feel like you get over your fears kind of relatively easily. No longer afraid. <laughs> Just slashes it. Omari, thanks for taking one for the team. You're welcome, hero. Someone had to do it. Higher fly force? It's so foggy. Ugh. And second thought, let's look for Basil somewhere else. Why, too spooky for you? This place gives me the heebie jeebies. Don't be such a baby, Cal. There are just some spider webs here and there. Uh, there's also fog. Uh, there's a spider in your hair. What? Where? Get it off! I think he's lying to you. <laughs> just kidding. Looks who's the, the scare one now. Hmm. That's not very funny, Cal. You know, you think with all the bickering they do, they'd be siblings or something. Another spiderweb. What are these things, though? It's actually a little bit hard to see stuff. Empty joke book here. But it's empty? Hmm. Sure, surface of the water is shimmering. Sure? Will they give me something cool? Lady of the lake and all that? Weeping Willow, sigh. Hey, it's me, Weeping Willow, the goddess of the lake. Thanks for the clams, I guess. They say that money can buy happiness, but apparently it's not working. Can you do something funny for me? Well, I did just pick up a joke book. It doesn't look like you have any material on you. Oh, I should find material? Come back when you have a joke or two. But I threw money for you. Well, hopefully next time I don't have to throw money, right? Okay, Weeping Willow. Where in the world would I find some jokes to fill my joke book? Awkward. Maybe I get something cool if I do... Uh, you know, find some funny material. 
Chicken wing. Ooh, I could really use a chicken wing right about now. Are those rabbits enemies? I'm just skipping all of it. I mean, sure, why not? Hopefully, I'm not under level for this area. I did grind a bit previously. Wait, what is that? That looks like a thing. Oh no, broken track. Can I jump off anytime? Well, this is... I waste up my time. Why does it have to push me all the way back? <laughs> What's the point of getting on this? Well, that was... lame. Okay, I gotta fix the track, I suppose. Ooh, spiders. Giant candle. A matchbox? We're in the world- Hey, hey, buddy. An interesting book. An interesting- Demi? Hmm. What to read? What to read? Sigh. I've read every book on this shelf over 20 times already. Well, you need a bigger shelf. If only I had something more interesting to read. Well, I would give you something, but my joke book is empty. Oh man, so many people with quests. Maybe I need a, Hmm. Maybe the joke book is also for you? I don't know. Spiders surround this web. Oh, I can't go past? I thought I got over my fear of spiders. Okay, maybe for later, considering I need a matchbox and uh, whatever. Oh, I can't go <laughs> this way. Those must be monsters, right? Yeah, they are. Afraid of spiders? These are spiders! Oh my god! He get rid of afraid? Don't know. Afraid, that's a new emotion. I can't believe Obery got over his fear, but his hero's still afraid. That bunny really did a number on me. Does it mean I'm under level for this area again? God damn. So much leveling. Is this a joke book material thing? Oh, it's a matchbox. Interesting. Gotta go back and light the... The, uh, candle. See what that does first. Maybe it gets rid of the spiders? Oh, it attracts the spiders. Well, that was not what I was expecting. Whoa, what the? What? That was not what I was expecting. Why? Oh, the spider is freaking there all the So maybe it's a speed thing. I just have to grab it before... The whatchamacallit, but it's kind of hard to do so because... The walking is a bit janky sometimes. Wooden track- oh, it's for the freaking thingy, my bob. You know, you don't have to grab us anymore, we have already escaped. But whatever, I guess. So it was mandatory. I was hoping for something cool. But apparently not. I think I might try to avoid you enemies. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Until I figure out if I actually need to grind levels here or not. It feels kind of like I... Oops, I need to put the track back. Oh, hey, picnic. How do I... Ah, oh, there we go. And then let me go get a free heal for a Mary here. Single block of tofu. Although we'll never have to go all the way to the end first. There might be more missing tracks or something. Hey Mary, how's it going? Really overgrown, isn't it? You are also brave for going through this forest. Well, we had no choice. There's even an old minecart running through here. I wonder what it was used for. Well, tracks apparently. Oh, there's a mirror there. Interesting. What does it mean? Should I have a picnic here? They might like, I don't know. Have a, you know, summarize everything or whatever. How are you handling your fear of spiders, hero? I would say not well. Huff. Breathe in. Huff. Breathe out. You're doing great, hero. Keep at it. Huff. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep breathing in and breathing out. Yeah, that's a phobia. Omer used to be scared of spiders too, but look at him now. Yeah, he got over it real fast. Not even a flinch. Look how brave he's being. Or maybe he just shut off his emotions. Wow. So brave. <laughs> yeah. Can't take you seriously, man. So brave. Okay, guys. I'm over it. Let's go. Uh, let's continue on. See what the stuff ahead. Oh, there's a missing track up ahead, see? A floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. When will I smile? Hmm? Yeah, since there's a missing track here, there must be one here. Yep, more spiders game. 
They certainly love these freaking candles. Whoa, it attracts all the spiders in the yards, apparently. But then they have a mother spider that helps them with the other stuff. Oh no, oh crap. Do they remake the other spiders? Oh, this is gonna be so inconvenient. Maybe in another direction? Oh, I don't like this. This is very annoying. Wooden track. Well, at least I got it. Whatever. Smell you later, spiders. Don't know why they had to do that, but, you know, whatever. Whoa, is that a bear? Present? Hello? Oh, jeez, it was a monster! And here, I was thinking it's a friendly-looking bear. I was wrong. Okay, holy crap. I don't know if that bear was just super strong. Or I am under level for this area. Because I don't feel particularly... Like the other enemies were that bad, but who knows. I might have to grind some more levels here, which is so irritating. Don't want to grind levels. Oops, did I heal the wrong person? Oh well, whatever. What's this ladder for? Afraid of drowning. Well, that's a reasonable fear, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go back real quick to heal. Although, I guess that would make the bear come back, huh? I think I might go all the way, finish up the tracks or whatever, and see what ahead brings us. I don't know if we're gonna head into another town, or maybe there's a boss fight or something. But then I have to level grind, and uh, oh, what the hell is this? What the heck is this thing? I know, dude. It's kind of slimy. It's like a spider web on top of a rock or something. And it smells like bad apples. There's more forest on the other side of this lump. Come on, Aubrey, smash this thing to smithereens. Oh, what's this? You're asking me for help, Kel? How rare. Step aside, I'll show you all how it's done. Well, that enemy's gonna attack me real soon, so... I'm gonna give this strange lump all I've got. I'm watching that work. <laughs> Great, because of some spider webs. Well, this is embarrassing. I guess we should find another way past this thing, but why? Yes, let's do that. Maybe get some scissors or something, but... Oh god, that bear is back. I don't think there's any other way to... Can I... Oh, there is another way. Explains the missing track, I suppose. What's this? Job for Omari? Hey, I guess. Too strong? Why is everything so strong in this place? I need some stronger... Scissors. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Holy crap! Uh... Oh dear. God, that was terrible. What was that? That was a spider cat, and it was pure evil. Uh, be attracted by the candle? Get away, stay away. Ugh! Oh, son of a gun! At least it doesn't kill us, but now what I do? The candle doesn't stay forever, that's really inconvenient, actually. Okay, just be attracted by it and stay away from me. I'm not really enjoying these puzzles! It's very anxiety-inducing. It's really triggering my fear of spiders, I'll tell you that much. Uh, why does it look back around? I don't know. Oh god! Oh whoa 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 whoa! That was real dangerous. It's you! Did you run away from me? What was that sound? What is going on? Shadow Basil. Magical bean. What am I, Jack? Why is there- hmm? What do I do from here? Well, that was lit recently. Can I relit it? Why did- oh! I had to click on it, that's weird. Shadow Basil be leading me to freaking the depths of the evil forest. Daddy Longlegs? That's a spider. 
Welcome to the Lost Forest, where you find things you never knew were lost in the first place. Oh, I'm definitely lost now. Or perhaps they're forgotten for a reason. Well... No Mary here, but her basket is, a, a basket is here, so... <sighs> I can save, but I cannot heal. Oh no, it's just gonna get me more and more lost every time, huh? Ew, I have a feeling this is one of those ways you memorize which direction you went, huh? God damn. God damn. I suppose we all hold secrets. No matter how lost or how deep down we bury them, they find their way back to the other side. Oh, there are enemies here too? Come on. I can't even see what's going on here. Trying to lose yourself? Or have you accomplished that already? I have. Either way, this is the right place for you. Perhaps that's why you've come here. To finish the job. Okay, daddy long legs. No need to be cryptic. It's legit so hard to see. I was like, the fog was kind of already irritating, but it's also so dark I can't really see what is walkable and what is not. Usually we tend to do things we want as opposed to things we say we do. I've never been one for once. I'm more of a need kind of person. I suggest you look for the exit before your needs become more apparent. I am looking for the exit, daddy long legs. But it's very hard to find, as you can see. You're still here? You must have either given up or you have fully embraced your fate. A confession, perhaps, but I'm not the one to tell. Should I stab myself again? Is that what you want? I feel I'm just getting more lost. There was a boy wandering around here before, very similar to you. It is a Basil? Shadow Basil. He went into the darkness and never came out. How regretful it must have been to never find what he was looking for. Be it regret, defeat, or confusion, no one will know. Well, as soon as I get out of here, I will know. And yet I keep running into you. I've seen lost, and I've seen blind. But the combination is unsettling. Great, I'm lost and blind. Perhaps you're hiding away from the right way. Well, perhaps you should lead me towards the right way. I don't even think it matters where I go anymore at this point. Morals are lost on the wicket. How does one define malice without intent? Why do you continue down this path when it's most certainly not the right way? But you say right way, get it? There is an old saying about wasting time while living a life that is not your own. Dreams can feel like that, like this forest. Lost. Again, yes, I am lost. Show me the way, Daddy Long Legs. Sometimes when we hide things from ourselves, we create different truths and eventually forget our way. Have you found yours yet, or are you still lost? Again, I am lost. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a clue or anything, but it's really hard to tell. Also, I literally cannot see. Is there, is there an opening here? I guess not. Maybe I should follow the direction of the rabbit, you think? It's actually not attacking me. Oh hey, this is a different area. Forget all you will, or try to. Darkness manifests whether you are aware or not. Hide the inhabitable behind ignorance and watch your life fall. A pearl. A pearl, you say? Is it the black pearl? The darkness surrounds you and it is a terrible thing, but your truth has guided you. How much longer can you keep it? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna follow the rabbit. You know, whichever direction the rabbit is in, I'm gonna go that way. Because I don't know what else to do. Oh, they're saying the same thing now. So it's the wrong way? Hmm. Oh, there's another rabbit here. Hmm? Okay, maybe it weren't hints at all. Strange. Now I do feel like I'm actually getting lost. But there's no rabbit here. Do you think it's always just the right, the right way? Because <laughs> you know the right way? Oh no, I'm really lost now. Why, Daddy Long Legs? Why? Uh, I'm just gonna ignore you. Great. What if I go back? Huh? What do you think about that? Huh? Oh, that's weird. Oh, jeez, it is an enemy. I thought they were not, because they didn't. They didn't look like they were attacking me. Ah, oh, jeez. I hope it isn't that as I like to feel the enemies. That would be problematic. Hmm. <sighs> what is the truth? Is this something to do with your lantern? Was there any lanterns? Don't know. 
Yeah, I don't like how you're repeating now. It's like you've run out of stuff to say. And now I am forever lost in this lost forest. Okay, so it definitely seems like following the bunnies might be the right way. At least it's leading to, leading to new areas, I feel like. At the least there's that. Don't like how the daddy, the, the daddy long legs don't say anything anymore. Why are you here? There's nothing here. There's only one path, is there not? Is there a secret path somewhere? Don't like how you're misleading me, game. Oh well, there's only one path. If it's the wrong one, that's gonna be irritating. Music change. Are we out? Oh, are we finally out? God, I hate this place. You have reached the end of the lost forest, but the beginning of the truth. I will tell you a story that has been lost through time. A story about the creation of this reality. Oh, interesting. In the beginning, there only existed two. The dreamer and his room. The dreamer grew wary of his room and created a door that led to many different worlds. Walking the path as a visitor to these worlds, the dreamer would come and go as he pleased. Slips and falls, tumbles and drops. The dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others, you mean one that makes reality come to life or whatever? Or makes dreams come to reality? Yeah. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. The dreamers slowly became filled with dread. Quiet as they may have been, words of malice quietly crept into his mind. Whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the dreamer manifested benevolent entities in his different worlds. Imagine if this was actually Basil's world. And Omri was his creation, but Omri became sentient? Oh, that'd be crazy. Then he compounded his worlds above the Dark Realm, sealing it with their combined might. Yet despite his valiant efforts, the Darkness' presence never abated. Even with new allies, the Darkness continued to scrape and scratch at the back of the Dreamer's mind. The noise might have subsided, but it never went away. The Dreamer could run and bury away his fears, but one still has to face his own reflection. Is that why that mirror is always there? What the dreamer had created was something he could not be a part of. Something outside himself, that's why I look this color. It's like I don't belong here. The dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary. Knowledge, or the absence of it, would become the dreamer's greatest gift. To truly escape the perils of his own faculty and ascend to, the, to a blissful state of ignorance. Only then would the noise cease to agitate the dreamer's sanity. Great, I'm going crazy. So... The dreamer took on another name, man, that's why you changed your name, and chose to forget himself. That's why I'm Omari, but I'm actually Sunny. From that time on, the dreamer has lived amongst us. But who are you? Why are you making me realize this? Simply as an inhabitant of this world, traveling along bliss blissfully, ignorant of his own fabrication. Children, I must warn you. As with all things that are born in and out of this world, an end will threaten this one too. Though the dreamer may have subdued the inexorable, the darkness grows still. No bandage can stifle an external wound. And there will be a time when its influence will bleed through. Are you saying I actually stabbed myself and I'm bleeding out right now? Forgetful the dreamer may be of this peril, a peril never forgets to be. Yet the end of this world may be an inevitability. The dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. But what does it mean to set this world free? Okay, bye. Weird that the spiders are so attracted to flames in this world. Oh, it's a key! Would you look at that? I wonder if you get all the keys, it's like a secret ending or something. Okay. How do I leave? The flame? Or do I go back out the other way? There doesn't seem like there's an exit. Up here. Okay, what if I what if I leave this way? Oh, I'm back out. Uh what was that all about? 
Oh, I can't go back in. What was that? What was that all about? Like, seriously. It's the weirdest thing ever. Why did I come here, then? What is this all about? Was there another way? Was that a, like a... Like a just an extra thing? God, did I want to traverse back out? This area sucks. Oh, this was a different area that I haven't been to yet. Ooh, god. Get it. Jeez. Alright, that's where the freaking track is, but what is that other person? Over there. Hello? Candly? Sniff. Sniff. I can't find my teddy bear anywhere. I am not gonna help you find god. I. Are, is it the scary ass bear that tried to kill me? The last time I had him. I'm pretty sure I was wandering through a big pink castle. Okay, I haven't been there yet. If you ever find him, could you return him to me? I'll think about it. I bet he's really lonely. I said I'll think about it, Can, Can Lee. Okay, I got the last track. Finally. I think you need to, <laughs> you need a freaking card to bulldoze your way through through the, the stone thing, is what I'm guessing. Okay, so that that uh that lower that, the lost forest bit was just uh some extra horror for you, I guess. There might actually be some like easily missable things here, I suppose. I actually don't even know if I needed to heal, but I'll just do it for the heck of it. And then I go all the way back to where the cart is, which is like all the way at the beginning. Like, jeez. And that will hopefully get us out of this EBGB's place. And I never have to see another spider cat ever again. Or a spider bunny. It really should have just been called a spider forest. Because these are all- even that pot of plant is a spider plant, probably. Which I don't think I've fought, actually. I just kept avoiding them. Wow, so fast now, huh? <laughs> wow. Sure. That makes sense. Is that the castle? Sweetheart's castle? Still in the freaking forest, though. Oh, is this, uh, what's his face's thing? Basil, are you here? You're just gonna yell? <laughs> Basil, where are you? Hmm, it doesn't look like Basil is here either. Hey, look, it's Mary. Mary, Mary! Mary, why would you leave your picnic area? It's your safe spot. Oh, hello, everyone. You all made it through the forest. I'm so proud of you. Mary, I... I was so scared. Hero, this is kind of embarrassing. Sigh, it's times like these I really wish Basil was here. He could tell Hero about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe then he wouldn't find them so creepy. No, it would not help. I'm not sure if that would help him right now. It wouldn't help him ever. Oh, Hero. You're going to have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Maybe. Or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what the future brings, huh? <laughs> Indeed, I don't. Actually, I don't need this. I just, literally just healed before I came here. Maybe another picnic time? This forest is a lot scarier than the one near the playground. And a lot older, too. It does have a mysterious air about it, doesn't it? I heard there used to be a huge library filled with books here. But since no one took care of it, over time the library slowly sank into the ground. Who told you that, Mary? Oh, just some shadows here and there. Shadows? If you focus, you can see them too. Scary, Mary. Whatever. Reading is boring. Who wants to read anyway? Where is this library now, Mary? Well, if I were to guess, i say it would be right beneath us. Like, underground? Yeah, 
somewhere around here, probably. Okay, awkward conversations as always with Mary. So, I think I'm actually leaving here because I kind of want to do some level grinding. I don't know if I actually need it, but some of those monsters were actually kind of tough. So, I'm a little wary. So, I think I will do some level grinding and then we will proceed to the next area and see where that takes us. Probably to Sweetheart's concert, but I don't know. We'll just wait and see. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next video.